Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Terrence Robertson. I would like to thank the Hall of Fame committee and the voters you know, for making this a special night for me and my family. And I'm truly honored to be inducted into the class of 2018. Um, ah, man, it's emotional right now. Um, you know, I just want to thank the supporters. Um, without y'all, you know, coming out every Tuesday and Friday, you know, spending your money and expecting for me to give you a show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was prepared to get that to y'all. <laughs> I was prepared. I was prepared. So, you know, I just want to thank y'all because y'all followed me, you know, even when I left BV. You know, I see people in the, in the wire or at the BV Center or even just, just around town, and they tell me how they stayed up to 11 o'clock, you know, 12 o'clock to watch me play at Fresno State. So, you know, that took some dedication to stay up seeing we were three hours behind time. <laughs> You know, so, you know, I really, I really, I really appreciate y'all. Um, right now, it's, you just don't understand how, how bad I really wanted this. You know, well, it was 2002 when it, when it first happened. I can remember um, being at the Y, and I seen a, a big picture of Archie Tellis. Um, and I didn't know what it was, but I seen Hall of Fame under it. And so I'm saying to myself, you know, I've got a class, I mean, uh, school in 95. And here it is, 2002, and it's a Hall of Fame, and I'm nowhere on it. So, you know, so I, I, I patiently waited. I patiently waited, and I patiently waited. And, you know, it had got to you know, a time where people was coming up to me saying, hey, you need to be in there. But it was, I didn't know how it went, so I was a little down. I was a little frustrated. But now that I see it was out of my hands, it was, out, it was into the voters' hands. So I appreciate y'all voting me in, you know, this time. And, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited to be here, and um, uh, man, um, I was listening to Tory's speech when I was sitting down. I didn't know where to start. I didn't know, you know, how to how to start it off. But uh, me and him, it's like a flip flop. You know, his mom, you know, she got to see him play. You know. Um, You know, my, my, my was, uh, you know, she passed when I was 11. So, you know, she never, she never got to see me shoot a ball. You know, she never got to see me run up and down the floor. You know, but uh, it, it was just hard, but I, I knew she, she did hair, so it, it was all right. Uh, I was just blessed, I was just blessed by God to have a dad in my life. Because, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, because, you know, my dad, he never missed one game, you know, from, from when it started at five years old to my last game at BV, you know, and um, I'm truly blessed to have him in my life because, you know, when you lose, when you lose somebody like my mom at Levitt, you know, you just don't know where to go. And, my dad stepped in, and he told me that he had me. And he never left my side ever since. And, you know, I'm just grateful to have him in my life because I don't know what I would have did from 11 years old without him in my life and seeing him in the stands. You know, it's hard when you want your mom there and you look up and she's not there. But my dad took over for her and him and the rest of the family and everybody else. So I just want to take my hat off to my dad because, you know, tonight, you know, he the real MVP because, you know, without him, I don't know. You know I, 
try, I try to keep my composure as, as much as I could. And I try, I try, but you know, um, you know, as a child, that's all I wanted to do was just play ball for Saturday night. You know, when I when I put on my jersey, I represented all y'all. Oh yeah, I made sure if they didn't know where Saginaw was at by the end of the game, they was gonna know. <laughs> they was gonna know, and I made sure that I made sure that I made sure that they was gonna know. Whatever it took, you know, whatever it took, I was gonna I was gonna do it to, you know, put Saginaw back where it should be. Not that we was ever not left off because I look in the record books and Saginaw been at the top of high school basketball for a long time, and you know. I just, I'm just happy to just represent Saginaw to the fullest right now, and um, man, there's just so much I want to say. Uh, you know, growing up, I watched a lot of basketball. I watched, I watched people like um, Al Tinsley. You know, he was, he was my idol. You know, my uncle Eddie uh, Roberson, Delano Johnson. I watched uh, Corey Phillips and Corey Ward, uh, Mark Macon, and you know, my favorite of them all was Larry Walker. You know. Larry Walker Jr. Larry Walker Jr. was my favorite out of everybody. When I was a little kid, I wanted Larry Walker haircut. You know, I wanted I wanted to talk mess like Larry Walker. I wanted to I wanted to shoot from the hash mark like Larry Walker. I wanted to do everything Larry Walker did. And you know, I tell him every time I see him at the Y, you know, how blessed I was to have him at an early age because, you know, he used to beat me up a lot at the Y. He used to talk mess to me, and that and that took me a long ways. You know, I got my big brother Jew, you know, Coach Jew. You know, I'm happy to have him here. You know, he's been there since, since, since I was a little kid too. You know, he used to take up for me on the trips when the older kids used to knock me to the ground. You know, Coach Jew used to be there for me, him and uh, Daniel West Sr. So I'm grateful to have him in my life when I was younger. And um, I don't know if Coach Reg or Coach Reed here, but them is the two most coaches that I would really like to talk about. Them two of my best coaches I ever had in my life. Um, Coach Reg, he gave me my shot at five years old. Um, I was a five-year-old kid at the neighborhood house running wild, thinking I could beat everybody in basketball, challenging everybody. And Coach Reg, he gave me my shot for the Salina Alphabets at five years old. And the rest was history, you know. <laughs> the rest was history. Coach, you know, but, you know, to know Coach Reg, you know, you had to know him because his X's and O's was, you know, it was through the roof. He was, like I say, he was the best, one of the best coaches I ever had. And then by him giving me my shot, that just let me know that he believed in me. You know, he never let me settle. You know, he was always, you know, team oriented. And if you play for Coach Reds, you had to know you had to be team. You know, it was never an I. You know, you can get left on any trip. You know, he'll leave you. He don't matter who you are. You know, it, it wasn't no, it wasn't no I on, on, on Coach Reds' team. And, you know, I just, if he was here, I don't know if he's here, but if he's not, you know, I just want to tell him that, you know, I love him, man. You know, I just want to tell him thank you for everything he ever done for me. Um, like I said, when my mom passed, he was in the front row, you know. He always had my back, and for that I'll always be grateful. Um, Coach Reed, I don't know if Coach here, but, you know, the paper, you know, when you, when you, when you say something in the paper, you know, it kind of it gets determined like, you know, he said some good things about Coach Reed, but I just want, I wish he was here because Coach Reed taught me a lot. You know, he prepared me for high school, I mean college, I'm sorry, he prepared me for college and high school, but you know, Coach Reed was the type of coach where, you know, we shared back-to-back -to -back titles together. We won 49 games in a row together. That's, we almost had the record, which was 52. Uh, you know, Coach was one of the best coaches I had, and I just wanted to let him know, you know, Whatever happened back in the day, you know, I walked off on the big stage on him, and I just wish he was here today so I could tell him I was sorry on this big stage here tonight. You know, so. Uh, you know, I, I talked about my, my moms, but my granny, you know. Anybody who was at them games, they knew that my granny, she was behind the bench, and she was screaming. She, she was praying, you know. And, and I, I don't know. I don't know if she cussed because she was a saint, but you know, you know, some of them games kind of got intense. So I don't know if she let one go, but you know, 
but I, I know she, I know, I know both her and my mom that they looking down on me. But the best thing, the best thing about it all is having my little sister. <sighs> having my little sister here, you know, she, she never got to meet our mom because she was a little baby. But when I look out at you, you represent my grandma and my, and I'm so happy to have you here tonight, to, to, to be here and celebrate this inductee with me because when I look at you, I know my mom and my grandma, they, they both in the room. And I, I'm just so happy to have you here, sis. I'm happy. Um, I don't know, I'm just all over the place, but <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just happy, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, yeah, I'm happy, but. You know, I'm not gonna be up here too long. Um, I want to thank, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank my God, Dad. You know, you know, Donald, man, you've been in my life forever. You know, I'm like my second dad. I don't even like saying God, Dad. You know, you've been, you, you always been there for me, man. And love you. Love you too, man. And you know, I ain't, I ain't up here saying that I did everything right, cause I did. You know, I did some things. You know that that wasn't right, but. One thing I can say, when I stepped on that court, I tried to do everything right. right. You know, and I tried to I tried to do everything right for y'all. And I tried to, like I say, I tried to I tried to make it make y'all ride home easy. You know. <laughs> you know, I tried to I tried I tried to make it easy. I tried to make it easy. And uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna end, I'm gonna wrap it up, but I, I had got a phone call from one of the reporters when I did that interview. Man, one of his questions was if Saginaw High would have had ninth grade, what I would have went there. No. <laughs> nah, I can't lie. Coach T was one of my favorite coaches when I was young. You know, you know all my life coming up, before I made my decision, I always wanted to play for Coach T. And all the way up until my decision, I was gonna play for Coach T. But the real reason why I went to BV, it wasn't because Saginaw High didn't have ninth grade. It was because when I was 10 years old, my mom would be riding home from Detroit and she had got some shoes that Mark Macon them played in at BV. They were some forms, some Adidas forms. And she gave them to me on my way riding home. And she told me, she said, you know, I asked her where she got the shoes from. And I didn't think she knew Coach Reed because she didn't even know basketball. She never even watched basketball. <laughs> the only person she seen probably was Tony Smith. And that was like back in, what, 74, 75 or something. <laughs> so she didn't even know basketball. But, she, you know, she told me on the way home, she asked me what high school I wanted to go to. And, you know, at 10 years old, I'm all black and gold. You know, I'm all... You know, I can't even lie, I'm all black and gold. Like I told y'all, most of my people that I named was sacking on high people. So that's all I knew. And, you know, she kind of shut me down and she said, well, I want you to go to BV. And I'm thinking, why? You know, the only thing I know about BV is, is my cousin Mark. You know, I didn't know nothing else. But if you knew my mom, you had to know that she didn't trust a lot of people. And if she had something to say, she was going to say it. So I figured if she tell me that she wanted me to go to BV, then I'm going to honor that because she knows something. So when it was time to make my decision, that's why I went to BV, because my mom had already told me at 10 that she wanted me to go there. And I felt like I, had to, I owed her that, and I, and I had to honor that, because that was my backbone at the time. So Coach T, it wasn't nothing personal. <laughs> Wasn't nothing personal, coach. Wasn't nothing personal, coach. Well, I can say, coach, that day when I was walking home down the street on, on uh, Trinner, I saw was down from the pop shop and you gave me that ride home. Coach, it was the best ride home ever. <laughs> I swear. I swear, coach. I had been waiting on that moment, coach, for a long time. I had went back in the house and I told everybody, man, y'all ain't gonna believe who just dropped me off. <laughs> Coach T, you know, hey, so coach, hey, it wasn't personal, coach. You know, I love you, coach. I always loved you, coach. And, you know, I ain't gonna never change. And I still got, you know, half blue and half black and gold, you know. 
So, you know, it wasn't never personal, Coach. It was just something I had to, you know, I had to honor for my mind. But, you know, thank y'all, you know, and I'm so happy to be honored. And thank y'all.